Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install iOS 7 step by step, absolutely free on your iPhone 5, 4S, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 5th generation, and all the iPads. Now, the iPad firmwares aren't out yet, but they will be within the week, so you know you can count on that then. This is also a follow up video to yesterday's. I know a lot of people had trouble, they were confused, so I'm going to be very intricate, very in detail in this video on how to get iOS 7 running on your iDevice that is currently on iOS 6. Now, no, you do not need a UDID registered in order to update to iOS 7. You can do it. However, once you are on iOS 7, you cannot restore. Otherwise, you will be forced to register your UDID. Now, yes, you can downgrade back to iOS 6 in case you do not like it. As long as Apple is still registering iOS 6, which it will be until the release of iOS 7, you can always downgrade back to iOS 6. So no worries about that. You will not lose any data if you follow the process and update as I show you. You do not restore to iOS 7. That's the trick in it, guys. That's what makes you not have to pay the money in order to register your UDID. Now, here's my iPhone 5. This is my personal iPhone. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you that I can update. My UDID was not registered on this phone. I did not go ahead and pay for this phone at all within the last year. And it does have all of my stuff. So I will show you that it does preserve everything that you do have on your iPhone. Go ahead and plug it into your your computer and pop open iTunes. Now, first off, we do need to download iOS 7. And to do this currently, you do need to download uTorrent and use it to download a torrent, which will download iOS 7 in its place. And this time I will have links where you can find uTorrent in. Once you do get that downloaded, of course, there will be links down below in the description. So, you know, check everything out there. Once you do have it downloaded, go ahead and open up iTunes. Now, with your iPhone connected, this is the trick, guys. You have to hold Option on your Mac keyboard and left click check for update or update, or if you're on Windows, hold shift. Now do not, and I repeat, do not press restore. If you restore to iOS 7 without registering your UDID, this will fail and you guys will have to end up paying that money anyways. So this is the trick how you get it for free. Hold option, I'm on a Mac and I'm going to left click update and select iOS 7.0. So here goes the process. As you guys can see, you know, you will update successfully. However, once it is done, I will go ahead and show you that my iPhone will be running iOS 7. Now, while this is restoring, I just wanted to go ahead and show you that you guys do need to download your iOS 7 specific device firmware. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but over here, it will say your model number of your iPhone 5. This one is an A1429 model. So when downloading your iOS 7 firmware, make sure you get it specific to the model number of your iPhone 5. And you only need to check on an iPhone 5. I mean, if you have any other kind of iPhone 4S, you'll just download either CDMA or GSM. But I just want you to make sure you are getting the compatible firmware. I don't want you guys to brick your iPhone or anything like that. And I don't even think it'll let you restore. But, you know, just to be safe, go ahead and check your model number and check if it corresponds to the firmware you are downloading. And guys, I am done. It literally took me a few minutes and here I am running iOS 7 on my Verizon iPhone 5. Now I am going to be using this as a daily driver because I was actually rocking it on my test phone. I showed it to a bunch of people. Everyone was impressed and I just love the performance, love how it works. I haven't really seen any bugs. So for me, it's a plus plus. I will be using this and no, I did not register my UDID. I did this absolutely for free and all of my apps, everything is still there. So you will not lose anything. Yes, it is absolutely free. And if you wish, you can always go down to iOS 6 before the fall release. So I just wanted you guys to know that I do hope this detailed video did help you guys, you know, get iOS 7 and show off to your friends. Um, anyways, enjoy iOS 7. It is a magnificent software. Have a great day, guys. Peace.